indie music comes alive. Broadcasting live worldwide, plus on demand 24-7. Your host for the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Dave Pratt. Welcome to the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. We are heard on worldmusicstage.com and on the internet worldwide and on demand. Listen at a time that's convenient for you. That is the beauty of new media, right? We are all about indie music, the artists and the fans who support indie music. Let's get started. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number 10. Well, with roots from the California coast to the countryside of eastern Oklahoma, the Okies, Ben Marshall's musical influences range from Southern Gospel to Johnny Cash to Buck Owens, Dwight Yoakam to George Strait, Garth Brooks, Waylon Jennings. It's all in there. As a young boy with a harmonica in hand and a hat on the ground for tips on Main Street, Ben was already entertaining audiences. A few years later, after torturing his folks with a drum set and countless hours of practicing trumpet for middle school band performances, oh, his parents were patient. He picked up the guitar. Doors opened at that point, and now Ben has toured extensively and is taking the next step to producing his music. He is living the life that he loves. And isn't that what indie music is all about? On the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Ben Marshall, Wildfire. You stand alone on common ground. Your whole world's turned inside out All the riches in the city All the diamonds feel so heavy And you hide it all deep inside your heart You're dreaming of a wildfire Because you've got a reckless soul How perfect does it have to get before you lose control? You say you wish you wouldn't have And it never turn out like this Before you light the match and watch the beauty turn to ash You're dreaming of a wildfire You're dreaming of a wildfire All your friends look up to you They don't really know the truth That you're starving for affection That you're living without reason And the fear that something's missing haunts you You're dreaming of a wildfire Because you've got a reckless soul How perfect does it have to get Before you lose control You say you wish you wouldn't have And it never turn out like this Before you light the match And watch the beauty turn to ash You're dreaming of a wildfire 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 Boy, that is just the purest kind of music, isn't it? And we move on to number nine. World Music Stage Radio. Top ten countdown. Song number nine. Oh, we are going to take you to Trinidad and Tobago. Sherry Lochan, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'll find out from Sherry here in just a few minutes. Sherry Lochan, she started writing songs at only 10 years old, surrounded by gospel music, big influence from her dad, 
and I think a lot of you can relate to this. Sherry was also influenced by MTV, but she kept that secret from her dad. How? Well, she was sneaking into the dining room late at night to watch TV with the volume on really low. Come on, I know some of you had done that. You can relate to Sherry. And now Sherry's songs are just making it big, man, on the world music stage. And they're all written, by the way, from real-life experiences on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown Hotline. Sherry Lochan. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Did I pronounce your last name right, Sherry? Is it Lochan? Yes. All right. Yes. And are you in Trinidad and Tobago right now? Yes, at my aunt's house without Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, but you sound terrific. We have a good connection. I can hear you very well, too. Sherry, talk about your interesting mix between growing up gospel, because I know you live next door to church and your dad had huge influence on you musically, but also being influenced by MTV. That's kind of an interesting uh, mix. Yes, I, I would be glued to that TV. Midnight, you know, um, the MTV shows used to come on here. Yep. At midnight, and I would get up and listen. So I'm turning the volume down real low, my ears up to the speaker on the TV, at the bottom of the TV, like that was how TV were before. And listen to all those songs. <laughs> So like like somebody sneaking a, a junk food snack out of the fridge, you were out there by the light of the MTV with the volume low, so your dad went, did he? Did you ever get busted? No, no, <laughs> never, because I used to make sure they got up to go to school. Who were some of the artists that influenced you on MTV? Who were some of your favorite artists? Oh my God, Whitney Houston, mm -hmm. um, Simply Red, that lady... All of your songs are written from real-life experiences, too. And the song that you have on the countdown today, Infinity, just tell us a little bit about that song. Okay, well, that song is inspired by my husband. <laughs> now everybody knows. Yes, by my husband. And about being there, letting that someone know that you're there for them. When things are not so bright in their world, you be strong for that person. See, that's where that gospel songwriting, hope and faith comes through in your music. On the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, this is my new friend, Sherry Lochan, from Trinidad and Tobago. Check this out. It's called Infinity. So you standing in the crowd Waiting for the earth to come Crashing into the sun Waiting to die, wanting to run But nowhere to hide Were you thinking about your life? All your joy and sadness Lost in darkness Can you feel my hands on your face My lips on yours Can you feel my soul This is my love in infinity I watch your eyes as the stars die and the future flies by I'm just in awe of you Can you hear my heart beating so loud Drowning out thunder Finally for a sworn disbeliever Love comes true whatever my destiny you wrapped in my arms is all you need Can you feel my hands on your face? My lips on yours Can you feel my soul? This is my love in infinity Can you feel my hands? on your face My lips on yours Can you feel my soul This is my love in infinity This is 
Wow. <laughs> Sherry Lochan. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number eight. At the age of only two, his teenage mother decided to leave his father, his biological father, for Stacy's safety. His stepfather was in the military, so they traveled living in trailer parks until finally settling down in a small Texas town called Sherman. And as a young teen, he'd stay in his room for hours singing Elvis and Beatles and Hank Williams songs. Stacy dreamed of being able to sing heartfelt songs. His desire is to send a message of hope to those who feel alone. We have Stacy on the line, right? On our World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown Hotline, Stacy Whitson. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Dave. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. Hey, you know, especially in country music, the best songs come from true emotions of life's challenges. And although you had to overcome so much at such a young age, Stacy, talk about how it may have helped you as a songwriter. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, you know, growing up, you know, I spent a lot of time, I was the eldest son and, uh, there was a lot of time where, you know, I just spent, you know, with, you know, with myself and, uh, uh, you know, I've, you know, I've, I've seen other things beyond that as well too. I, you know, I was married for a while and I ended up uh, losing my, uh, the woman that I was married to as well. I you know, it's, you know, sometimes our paths go down places and, and, you know, that really reaches in and grabs the emotions, you know, in, in, in deep places that you don't even know that exist. Well, may, maybe your music is doing for others what Hank Williams and, and Elvis did for you when you were sitting in that room and you needed hope. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I, 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 I said this to somebody uh, maybe earlier today, uh, you know, earlier today, or yesterday, I told them, I said, there's no blessing greater than when you're performing and you see someone, you know, you know, I, I hate to say crying, but. When you when you know that you've reached somebody at the level that they are they're in tears, you know that you know your music is reaching people, and uh, and, and that means everything to me, a absolutely everything. I you know that's if I can touch people with my songs and they can connect to it, then uh, you know I've I've accomplished you know what I set out to do. Well, that's what music is all about is emotion, and Stacy Whitson brings emotion and touching a lot of people and giving a message of hope. On the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, you got to love his story, right? Off his album Made in Texas, Stacy Whitson and Breathing.
bunch of talent, huh? Stacy Whitson and Breathing. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number seven. Stevie Beach. Perfect name for one of the top drummers in the industry. When he was only 15, his teen R&B band, Devotion, had a top 20 Billboard dance hit. At 15 years old, what were you doing at 15? His solid Bronx drumming backbeat has powered several big-name acts like Sarah Dash, LaBelle, and more. Love LaBelle. Extensive world touring has brought him to large venues all over the world. And during that time, he shared the stage with, geez, classic funk bands like Cool and the Gang, Chic, the Isley Brothers, and the Gap Band. Stevie is a multi-talented songwriter-producer, even producing music for the major Nintendo 64 video games. Stevie's also the CEO of his music label, Unrota Music Works, which has new releases produced and composed by Stevie and his wife, vocalist Lori Rose. And on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown Hotline, Stevie Beats. Hello, Stevie. Hey, hey, how you doing out there? Well, doing great. You calling from New York? Yeah, man, I'm here in Brock, New York, my friend. Good to talk to you. An well, honor. Well, you too, and you are certainly busy enough. Do you have enough going on, Stevie? <laughs> There's never enough going on, my friend. You know how that is. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah, through performing and writing and producing and having your own label, you have so many creative outlets, and even better, you have creative control. What do you enjoy more out of all those, Stevie, writing, performing, producing, your own label? Which one do you enjoy the most? I would say the uh, the writing is, is the most uh, expression for me. You know, I get the most joy out of that because uh, I don't only write in one genre of music. Uh, if you go through my, my material on my, on my website, you'll find that I do anything from Latin rock to, to funk to rap to R&B soul, to old school rock, uh, just because of my experiences and, and the uh, living in New York City and being exposed to everything, uh, I, I tend to, 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 to write in many genres. So I find that that's the most enjoyable for me, that, the, the writing aspect. The performing, uh, I did for almost 40 years, I've traveled and toured, and uh, I find that now at this age, it's a little tiring for me to, to keep running around and drumming like that. But uh, but the studio stuff is really where my heart lies right now. So yeah, that, tell us about tell us about your song, Stevie. That's on our top five list this week on the countdown. Stand back. Talk about that song. Oh, stand back's a great groove, man. It's uh, that that song kind of shows my Bronx heritage. Uh, you'll hear like a little jazz in there. You'll hear the Latin percussion and and the uh, the almost like cha cha rock kind of a groove. That's really just a, you're hearing a fusion of, of my, my childhood, basically growing up in the, in the Bronx on this track. Uh, like I said, I write a lot of different things, so I have a pretty extensive catalog. So I wanted to put out something uh, this, this fall that uh, is going to have a little bit of everything, a nice collection of, of songs that I just put out. So, and this is a, one of the, the, the tracks off of that uh, new CD. So uh, I'm looking forward to it coming out, and, and I hope everybody enjoys the new song, Stand Back. This man just keeps bringing it. He is on his A game, and he has been ever since he was 15. On the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Stevie Beats, Stand Back.
You know, I know that Stevie Beats is from New York, but one of my favorite cruises is Pacific Coast Highway, and I can just envision driving up and down Pacific Coast Highway, having that cool percussion groove in the back. Stevie Beats and Stand Back, great stuff. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number six. You know what's fun about hosting the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown is I just look at where all these artists and groups are from and I try to see if I can figure it out. For example, this one, Denton, Texas, D-E-N-T-O-N. I think that that's Dallas, Metro Dallas, north of Dallas. I always check after I introduce the songs (laughs) just to make sure I'm right. Sonar Lights was formed six years ago. Their sharp songwriting delivered with mighty guitar hooks influenced by the early heavy metal era. Sonar Lights is dedicated to bringing back the ideal of creating an album. Remember when albums had themes and they meant something? That's what Sonar Lights is all about. They want albums to have a reason. And they deliver a brand of rock that's been desperately missed. On the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown from Denton, Texas. I think it's Dallas. Off the album, here we are. Sonar lights out in the streets. Everybody in our studio laughs because whenever I hear a surefire hit, I hold up the touchdown sign, (laughs) and that is definitely one of them. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. 
Song number five. Oh, you're going to like this guy. At 30 years old, this Michigan native has been playing in bands since he was 16. He has earned his way. Nick Dakota was discovered by the famous producer Robin Robbins, uh, Bob Seger, and the Silver Bullet Band. And for Nick Dakota, it seems everything is just going his way. I, everything. Big time seems to come every single year. Another opportunity, another landmark. And this year, creating and releasing Vision, his new album is the big one. And Nick Dakota joins us on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown Hotline. Hi, Nick. Hi, Dave. How are you doing? Good. Checking in from Michigan? That's right. Yeah. You know, you have the coolest name ever. Is that your real name? That is a great name. It is my it is my uh, real first name, yeah. Okay. But uh, we, we went with, uh, we switched it up a little bit for the... Uh, for the music. You didn't want to go with Nick Michigan? Yeah, Nick Michigan actually sounds a little better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, talk about working with the producers of Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. Well, I actually work with Robin, who is the keyboardist, uh, uh-huh. but he's just incredible to work for. He has, you know, so many excellent connections and, and he has, you know, just experience in the field that's just above and beyond. You know, he's been working with Pro Tools since it came out. So, you know, he's moved into the digital age and everything. That's why we get such great, you know, production sound on this album. If, if anybody listens to this, you'll hear that just everything is just crystal clean all the way all the way to the core. Being a Michigan guy, and there's just so much from Michigan, so much great music. Do you have a favorite Seeger tune? Um, I would, you know, I should have I, I should have thought of the answer to this previously. You would think this would come up. Um, you know, I really like the "Roll Me Away." Mm-hmm. Are you? you know, a, that's, uh, are you a motorcycle that? guy? Oh uh, yeah, I I like to uh, I build and ride. Yeah, yeah. So tell us more about Nick Dakota because you are definitely making your own way and making your own noise from Michigan. What else do we want to know about Nick Dakota? Well, that I uh, hope to be on the you know the touring scene where everybody can see me here pretty soon. We're trying to get all that together, and then also you know that I'm going to keep cranking out music for you guys and just I like to rock and roll and I'm doing the country thing now too and. I'd like to keep that crossover for everyone, you know, so we can hit as much, uh, get as much activity out of this music as we possibly can. You know, a big uh, part of the game for those moving up as fast as you, Nick, is getting to open for some of their favorite bands in big That's venues. That's what I'm looking forward to, yeah, certainly. Just throw out a couple that you'd love to open for. You know, I'm. geez, that's another uh, trick question. Uh, you know, there's a couple of, you know, even classic rock bands or something that would be excellent to open for, but... You know, a lot of guys are getting started that way. Yeah. Um, I would like to open for Eric Church. Uh, we used his his bass player, and then we we saw him here in Michigan at Van Andel, and it was just a fantastic show. If I could get in on with him sometime, I you know the production rate on that is also just fantastic. Yeah, and he's like that blend of country and rock that I know you appreciate. Yeah, I really like Zach Brown for the same thing. So <laughs> we'll always have Paris. That is the song that's in the top five this week. Tell us specifically about that song. Well, it's the first song on the album, and we just, uh, you know, we've already done a couple of, we've already released a few, uh, two songs with you previously, and we were just thinking of another one that would just, you know, be as radio friendly as possible, and that one, that one seems to have that spirit. This guy's got it all going for him. The World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown off the album Vision. Nick Dakota will always have Paris. Can buy you four thousand square. 
a bucket of talent from Michigan, huh? Good to have Nick Dakota on with us. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number four. 16-year-old singer Janina W. is from Steinfurt, Germany. She speaks four languages. Thai, German, English, and Chinese. She began studying music at 11 years old. Janina W. Yeah. Third out of 10,000 kids. That's that's where she placed in the Thai TV program Singing Kids. 10,000 kids. She placed third. And her appearance was phenomenal. She was contacted afterwards by GMM Grammy. Her biggest dream is to be a famous singer. And, yeah, even at 16, it pretty much looks like she's on her way. You tell me. On the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Janina W. Let it go. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go. Turn my back and slam the door. The snow glows white on the mountain tonight. Not a footprint to be seen. Kingdom of isolation And it looks like I'm the queen The wind is howling like the swirling storm inside Couldn't keep it in, heaven knows I tried Don't let them in, don't let them see Be the good girl you always had to be don't feel, don't let them know Well now they know Let it go, let it go Can't hold you back anymore Let it go, let it go Turn my back and stand the door And here I stand And here How some distance makes everything seem small And the fears that once controlled me Can't get to me at all Up in the cold thin air I finally can breathe I know I left our life behind But I'm too relieved to grieve Let it go
16-year-old Janina W. from Steinfurt, Germany, and let it go. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number three. This lady's got it all going on. From the platinum recording group Total, Pamela Long has emerged again with a sound that many have fallen in love with. In fact, P. Diddy. Recognized the distinction of Pamela Long's voice and used it to make an impact on music. Uh, this Grammy Award winner strives to surpass what's already been done and moving into the future. In the words of Pamela, by God's grace, I am here, and by God's grace, I shall remain. On the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown from Edison, New Jersey, Pamela Long, you said. Yeah.
love her. What a voice, huh? Pamela Long. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number two. Tom Penzent was born and raised in Grand Falls, Windsor, Newfoundland. Did I pronounce that right? Newfoundland. Newfoundland. New... Newfoundland. Am I right? Okay. Crazy founders of World Music Stage are pointing at me when I get it right. I'm not supposed to say Newfoundland. They'd kick me out of here. You'd lose me as your host with the most. So it's Newfoundland. Okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I need a babushka hat to pronounce all this stuff. Uh, In high school, Tom played drums in bands, and one of the bands called Union Street became really popular and toured throughout the whole area. And although still in his teens, he joined the Canadian Armed Forces, and there he formed another band called Odyssey. After leaving the Canadian Forces, Tom completed a business degree and became an instructor. And then he re-jumped his musical career, because once music's in your blood, it's always in your blood. At number five on the World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown, from the album GT's Lounge, Tom Pincent's I Will Still Be There.
Tom Pinsent, I would still be there. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number one. Alex Green, spelled A-L-X. No E in there. Alex Green is a singer-songwriter from Chester, England, which is Northwest England. Alex fuses folk music with dynamic vocals, melodies, and percussive finger tapping. You're going to dig this. He's released several demo EPs and embarked on a successful three-month European tour. His first studio EP was released this year on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Off the album My Way Home, Alex Green, Downhill From Here. Green at number five and downhill from here. This week, go to worldmusicstage.com to hear the greatest indie music in the world and to support your favorite indie artists. 
Thanks for joining us every week for the best in indie music all around the world. Thanks to all of our radio affiliates as well. The World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. I'm Dave Pratt, and hey, if you don't deserve it, who does? Thanks for listening to the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Breaking the sound barrier with your top 10 weekly from worldmusicstage.com. Join us where indie music comes alive at worldmusicstage.com. That's worldmusicstage.com.